So then, what we're going to need to uh, accomplish this monumental task is going to be, of course, the Galaxy Note 2. You're going to need a Windows PC. We are running the Samsung Ativ Smart PC, which, by the way, I love this sucker. It is a tablet PC running full Windows 8 Pro. And as you can see, we can pop off the pop off its head and you can see it is uh, full Windows 8 press a little button here go over here see if we can turn on the brightness on this thing I'm going to do a review on this because I really like it it's fast it's responsive now with when the battery gets low, it uh, kind of has some slowing down issues. But other than that, it's a beautiful piece of work. So, we're going to plug back into our little Doom uh, Wiki here. And as we are plugged into our Doom of Wiki, so first of all, you're gonna go. You're going to need to go into your settings on your Galaxy Note 2. <coughs> Excuse me. And you are going to scroll down to where let's uh, just bring the phone up here. So then, apologize for my little children's in the background. They're uh, watching the adventures of Tintin. So anyways, go into your developer options. And then in your developer options, you're going to want to make sure this is checked off. That is USB debugging. And once you've got that done, you can go back home. And uh, just on a quick side note, this wallpaper it's called uh, Galaxy Note 2 weather or uh, feather wallpaper and as you can see it does not slow it down at all it runs beautifully well no lag there are some wallpapers that do cause some lag you also get the preview of what's in your folder with the air view isn't that just a beautiful work of art? That's probably one of my, that's the main reason I stick with TouchWiz. And as I always say, make sure if you TouchWiz, you know what to do. Wash your hands. So anyways, we've got that. We're going to plug in our USB cable. Now the neat thing about this Samsung Ativ Smart PC, yes, beautiful, is that you can get a USB hub 2.0 up here. You get one on the keyboard and you get another one on the other side of the keyboard. You get a micro SD slot as well as a SIM card slot. Okay, we're going to plug this on in here. And Once we are plugged in, then we're going to go to our desktop. Then in the desktop, you're going to open up your Galaxy Note 2 root toolbox, or toolkit, excuse me. Hey, look, I'm right here. Hi. Let me get out of that picture.
Do you want to check for an available update? Uh, sure, why not? Yes. And we're checking for the available update. Uh, and of course you're going to want to donate if you want to be able to uh, get the automatic updates. Um, I believe we do not need to update so therefore we'll just move it on to the next point. Now, very important here is that you're going to go into these various options here and if you can see that you've got uh, the sprint model which is what we have here and we are running on ALJC so we're going to hit 42 enter now here is a very crucial part where I got confused, root and unroot options. Don't look at all this other stuff in there uh, because you'll get confused if you've never done this before, if you're a first timer. So the best way to do it is just go to number two for root, unroot options, press enter. Then we're going to number three, all in one, right down in this area, right here. And get a better picture there. So all in one is number three, enter. And then we wish to go to twerp touch touch was uh, team win recovery project. That's the best way to flash uh, an insecure boot image and uh, recovery mode. We're going to go to 2, enter. We're going to use Super SU. And enter. <clears throat> okay, so it's asking uh, to make sure that USB debugging is enabled. Yes, it is. Then it will say, are you ready to continue? Say yes. Then it will reboot your phone into download mode. And then it will open up the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. I'm already rooted, but we'll go ahead and run through the process again. Yes. Then it's going to go ahead and boot the phone into download mode. Now, extremely important, make sure that you do not, I repeat, do not touch the cord. Don't even let anyone come close to touching the data cable because if you do, then what will happen is uh, your phone will get bricked. So then, uh, we're going to hit PDA. Then go to your respective uh, phone model, which we are going to boot Insecure ALJC. And then we're going to hit start. Now it is going to give you a little reset right here. You can see my mouse cursor. Right there in that section. Then we're going to need to close out the Odin. <coughs> Excuse me. And sometimes if when the device reboots, nothing happens, it's just stuck there on stupid, then what you need to do is you need to go down to your root toolkit.
and then you will get a bunch of stuff going on here on the bottom side of your screen. Congratulations, root procedure is completed. But if this doesn't happen automatically, then just go down here, right click it, and then open it. Just hit the Galaxy Note 2 root toolkit. It'll open up again, then this stuff will start happening on the previous uh, session, and you can close out the second session. And all this stuff going on over here is the uh, running the root files. So then we are now going to go to exit, and it's going to say thank you for using the donation version for giving us your support. As Bartles and James used to say, we thank you for your support. As do large endowed women. These uh, Victoria's Secret people. Well, anyways, let's not go there. So then, once you are rooted, it'll say congratulations, you hacked it. And then in your applications, you should see a super user doodad like this. Can you see that right there? Right there. If you do not have that, then something went wrong and you're going to have to do it again. So anyways, there you have it. There we are. We are rooted. We are rocking and rolling. And that should be all you need to know. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, question of the day, do you like running custom ROMs? And if so, what is your favorite part of rooting and running your own custom ROM that you download from wherever? And which is your favorite custom ROM? So anyways, thank you. Have a great day.